So you probably want to know if it's good or if it's bad, how good is it, and if it's worth the money. Today I will only be reviewing the T3 gloves by Hayabusa. The other two gloves are just for a comparison. I am not doing a review on those two gloves. What's good to all the fighters that are out there or even people that are just in here for fitness? I know you have some questions that you want to be answered. So let's answer these questions. I know you're probably here because you want a good boxing glove and you're looking for something that's going to be durable and reliable. Something that's going to protect your hand, your knuckles, and your wrist. I wanted to do a review because I've been using these gloves for two years now. Let's start out with the features of this glove and let's see if this is something that you would like. Off rip, this is something that we're looking for, built-in wrist support. We all need support, we don't want to break our wrists, we don't want to be injured, we want to be able to continue training. These are how most gloves are today on the market. The flex in the wrist is very bad and I have examples to show you in comparison to the T3 glove. After trying these gloves on, you can feel the layer of protection. Your knuckles do not hurt in these as they would in other gloves. These gloves have an attached thumb, a grip bar, and a perforated palm. On the thumb on this glove, you can wipe your sweat and it has a dual X closure for your straps. So it has a double Velcro strap system. It has a bacterial and odor resistant lining. Let's get straight to it and let's compare these gloves so you can get an example. I feel like my hands are in a small, small glove. These gloves just happen to be 14 ounce gloves. So that could be the reason why they feel so much smaller. Right now here I'm showing the flexibility of the wrist. How it goes back and forth easily. But of course you have to wrap your hands when you put your boxing gloves on. When you go to spar or if you go to hit the bag heavy. Also, there's a decent amount of flex with the glove on the hand as well. Here are the second set of gloves. Okay, this fits better than that one. That's for sure. It's way better. These gloves happen to be 16 ounce gloves. These gloves here happen to have more flex than the first gloves, the 14 ounce gloves. As you can see, the wrist bends extremely easy with just one finger. Easier one way than the other direction. Even though these gloves do fit a lot better, the wrist support was better on the first set of gloves. It's a lot easier to flex the gloves in towards your body or downward than it is outward. The first set of gloves was probably equal both directions. Now here are the T3 Hayabusa gloves. So, so, so as of right now, these gloves, just putting them on, 18 ounce gloves, these Hayabusas, they already feel very comfortable and they feel very tight around my wrist. It doesn't feel very loose and the flexibility is not like the other two. It's pretty stiff, I would say. And here, since the glove is so stiff, I'm putting more force than I was for probably both of those two put together. And if I was putting the same amount of force, the wrist would definitely would not bend at all. So already, these feel a lot better than the other two. That phrase fits like a glove. Sweet boy, fits like a glove those don't and the aesthetics on these are beautiful here is the flexibility test with the hand in the glove and as you can see it is definitely a larger glove and you can see that flex is very minimal and i can feel the tightness around my wrist on these gloves now it's time to hit the bag let's see how these gloves perform on the bag let's see how they feel i see the shadows in my room oh your hands up. Hit, bring your hands to your face, yo. That's right, yo. Yo. One more time for the wrist flexibility in the gloves. 
you can see the difference in flexibility in the wrist compared to the T3 glove. Now it's time for the heavy bag test. Uh, with these gloves I have on here, punching the bag, my knuckles were a little sore from it. I was getting a little bit of pain in the knuckles, so the cushion in there isn't that good. Compared to the 14 ounce gloves, these 16 ounce gloves feel a lot better on the knuckles. I'm able to punch a little harder. I'm not getting the same pain that I was getting from the first ones. And that's the reason why I didn't punch the bag as long as I did for the first set of gloves because of the pain in the knuckles. Now for the T3 gloves. So right here in these gloves, I feel very comfortable. I can hit the bag very hard. I don't have to pull back as much because hitting the bag, this kind of bag, can injure your wrist either way. I definitely don't have my hands wrapped, so I wanna conserve my power, but for this, I'm able to really slam into the bag basically the way I want to, but this is a heavier bag and an unforgiving bag to begin with. There's like no give when you punch it. It feels great. And believe it or not, I do have a wrist injury on the left. Now I want to do the same test, but I'm only going to throw right hooks. I got a close up shot of this. Um, I actually have a different card in here. I had to go back to the house to go get the card so I can shoot in 4K. But I want you to see the difference of the impact. I'm going to put it in slow motion so you can really see what it looks like. So you can kind of feel what I feel. And here is all three gloves. I will have a link in the description for these gloves. Just clicking it would help my channel because I will get paid just for you clicking it. And if you do buy it, I get a bigger commission and that would help me a lot. And if the glove doesn't live up to your expectations, you can always return it. No problem with Amazon. So after training my friend for about four months, he ends up getting his own pair of T3 gloves. That's how good they are. How do I feel about the glove? I think it's obvious at this point. This is the reason why I even did a review because I have experience with these gloves and it's been protecting my wrist for a long time. I've been injured punching bags without wrapping my hands. Of course you need to wrap your hands, but a lot of the times I just don't. And when you have a glove like this, it has two straps to strap your wrist in. It's not one wrap, it's a double wrap system already. So it does hug your wrist very well. I would say if you don't have the means to get this glove, I say wait it out, save your money and get the glove. That's exactly what I did. Not only that, look how wide the wrist is for the glove. Look at his gloves, his Everlast gloves, and then look at the Hayabusa's. You can see that it almost looks like one uniform shape as the Everlast, you know, it winds down to the wrist. I really enjoy doing videos like this. I don't mind at all giving out free information. I know how hard it can be to get any kind of information or get anything done and it helps other people why not big deal so if you enjoyed this video i'll probably try to do other reviews if i get requested to do any other reviews i don't mind i'd love to do another review on something else this is my first review this is not my first video that i have ever made or edited of course but i'd love to do another review and yes it's worth it these gloves these t3 hayabusas are definitely worth it